Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. Happy 7 7. Today is the 7 7 portal. So I wanted to bring in this special reading for all of you today, a special bonus reading. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at what are the significant changes that will occur. Uh, during today's portal. So we're going to look at Divine Feminine's most significant change just overall for her journey, Divine Masculine's most significant change for his journey, and then what is the most significant change in the connection? We'll also look at the most significant changes for masculine, for masculine and feminine as related to each other, and then we will look at where is the connection potentially headed after um, today's portal, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. And if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session with me, go to queenalight1111.com. So the bottom of the deck for this main oracle that I used is this card of fate. It's this card of lady luck. It's this card of superstition. It's the card of taking risks and evaluating odds. So this is really about, you know, if you look, you have all these symbols, you have cards, you have like Friday the 13th, you have these four leaf clovers, black cats, you know, this um, slot machine, the dice. So this is really about this concept, concept of luck and fate, okay? It's this energy where are we relying on luck, you know, or are we using our um, you know, intuition to be aligned to what is fated or what is destined for us. And so now for Divine Feminine specifically, the way she clarifies this card is that Five of Cups energy. So there's this energy of um, fate that has you know, and destiny and luck and signs and synchronicities, you know, change your focus. She's really starting to change her focus. She doesn't want to see all the signs and synchronicities. She just wants to continue to move forward. She doesn't want to um, be held back on her journey. Eight of Pentacles. So she's really working on herself. She's really working on her mastery and not trying to be too sensitive, too dreamy, but only you know, really connected to her intuition. So, you know, like a lot of times I get, oh, you know, like I see all these numbers and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And hey, that's great. But sometimes that only has to do with you and your journey and your movement forward. It may not have anything to do with that masculine or that counterpart. It's your angels and your guides saying, we are here. We are directing you on your journey. Too many times I hear from people that saying, oh, that means my masculine this, my masculine that. This journey is about you. This journey is about your movement forward. It doesn't have everything to do with the counterpart. And that's what people do. It's like every little thing, every sign, every synchronicity, everything that happens has to do with that masculine energy. It doesn't. If you remember, this is a journey of self, a journey of self-union right? And the catalyst for this awakening, for this beautiful self-union is that counterpart. But every sign, every synchronicity is for you. Do not attach it outside of yourself, okay? So she is really in this energy of, you know, looking at these signs and synchronicities and this fate and this destiny, and she's using her intuition, so she's guided, okay? So when she's guided, yes, she takes those messages in, she receives them, she's receptive from them, but she doesn't hold on to them. She's changing her focus. She's changing her focus from being sad and um, feeling this loss because of this fate, because of these synchronicities, etc. And she's focused on working on herself. She's focused on working on her intuition. And she's coming out of this energy of feeling overly sensitive. Okay, so now let's look at Divine Masculine. So how does this energy um, affect Divine Masculine, this energy of luck and fate and superstition and destiny? Well, it's very interesting. He has the Five of Cups too, but it is clarified by the Five of Wands. So what I'm really getting is there's this, you know, all these signs and synchronicities and this energy of, 
you know, gamble and risks, right? He's risked this, this connection and he's feeling this loss. Five of wands, he's probably also battling himself, battling these signs and synchronicities. Maybe didn't want to accept or acknowledge all of these messages and symbols and, you know, songs and words and things that the universe was, was sending him because he's just wanting to stand alone. He's just wanting to be alone. He He's, he's in this energy where he's risked, he's risked his connection, he's made risky decisions, and now he's experiencing loss, and there is a lot of conflict around these risks that he took, around these signs and synchronicities that he's battling, and now he's standing alone. So now he's standing alone, and not, not, not necessarily in this connection, because Divine Feminine's like, yeah, you know, I'm changing my focus. So where he's feeling loss, right, of the connection, She's changing her focus because she's been she's been in the energy of experiencing the loss. She's done experiencing the loss, okay? So now for the connective energy, we have the moon, right? This is about illusion. This is about secrets. This is about deception. Nine of swords. This is a lot of stress because of the unknown. We don't know where we're headed. We don't know where we're going. There's a lot of signs and synchronicities. It's still the unknown. The universe is keeping a secret and there's a lot of stress in the connection. But guess what? It's clarified by the world card. This is completing. We're ending this cycle and you will see why. You will see why this cycle is ending and has everything to do with the strong divine feminine. So let's go ahead and take a look at now these energies, okay? Uh, the one thing I didn't share here was this second oracle card, which has to do with this risk and this, this risky energy and that it's about blossoming abundance. But divine feminine, as you saw, she's changing her focus from taking these risks. And as you can see for divine masculine, you know, there was this abundance where he's taken the risk and he has lost his connection because of um, perhaps bad choices. And for the energy of the connection, there is this destiny and this fate and this blossoming abundance that, you know, we're uncertain of that, you know, divine masculine and feminine are like, uh, where are we going? But that stress and that illusion is all completing after this seven seven cycle so now let's go ahead and start with divine feminine what is the most significant change that divine feminine will experience on her own personal journey has everything to do with her doesn't have to do with masculine okay but it does have to do with masculine obviously but this is just in general what is the most significant change that divine feminine will experience today in the seven seven portal for her journey past and future fresh start. Look at this. She's this mirror where she looks at the past and then there's door to the future. There's this book with all of these, these, you know, this writing. And now there's this empty book. She is really in this energy of I'm letting go of the past. I am letting go of the past. I am not going to dwell on the future. I am very focused on the present, the present moment. Do you see her? She's not looking at the past anymore and she's not looking at this door. She's focused on the present. And so what does that have to do with her healing? So she, her healing has helped her considerably be this healer of the ages. So she is very focused on present day, present moment, present time on her healing. So healer of the ages, when this card comes out, this is all about her being in the energy of taking care of her emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual health. This is what she's doing. She is, that is her new beginning, ace of wands. This is giving her new vitality. Okay, focusing on the present, focusing on her healing is giving her this new inspiration, this new vitality for union, for her own union. And it could potentially affect the union with masculine. But she's in this energy, I'm focused on me right now, what I'm going through. I'm focused on my own healing, healing my mind, my spirit, my soul, my body. And I'm ready for a new beginning for stability for a stable foundation in whatever form that may come and then i wanted to just get one last oracle bottom of the deck is message so there's a lot about communication that's coming up but for divine feminine this has to do with you know what i um oh sorry it goes like this so we have this bottom of the deck 
the past, right? Clock card. So there's this energy. Let's do this again. Uh, focus on present. Focus on present healing leads to this new beginning of this strong, stable connection, strong, stable foundation for divine feminine from the past. She's letting go of the past. And when she lets go of the past and focuses on the present, that's when this new beginning happens. And this could be where this, this is a new cycle for her. I almost feel like she's going into the fool's journey, right? Remember, we have the world card at the bottom of the deck. So now once we complete with the world card, we're right back to zero. We're back to zero with the leap of faith forward, starting the cycle, starting a new journey. So she's very focused on healing focused on herself, focused on her own stable foundation. She has new vitality and she has healed the past. She has healed the past within the safety of her home, within the foundation of her home. And she's in this energy where she feels very grounded, very, very rooted. If she doesn't today, she will be. This is the significant change that is occurring for Divine Feminine after today. No longer focused on the past, not even focused on the future. Focus on present day healing, this new beginning present day towards this new foundation, new stability, releasing the past and creating a new home. Okay, like metaphorically even. Okay, so now what is changing? What is the most significant change for divine feminine as related to masculine? Look at this. You have all of this fresh energy and now you have endings and farewell. So when this card comes out, you look at her, she's in funeral clothes. She has a letter in her hand. Okay. So what is changing for divine feminine? She's closing up the cycle to come into this new cycle of present day. So she is ending cycles forever and ever farewell to this old cycle, this fool's journey to the world card in this last cycle that we were in, she's saying goodbye to it. She's done with the cycle with this masculine. Okay. She's done with the cycle. I'm not saying she's done with the connection. That's not what I'm saying. Don't misunderstand me. What I'm saying is she's saying goodbye to this pain, to this loss, to this cycle, to this storyline, to this timeline. She's ready to turn the page next card because she is the thinking woman it's queen of swords energy she is in her logic she is using her intuition she is using her wisdom to succeed six of wands to succeed this time what is she succeeding over any mental conflict around communication she doesn't need his communication she doesn't want his communication she's not craving his communication she's closing up the cycle and then we have judication. So this is two people in front of the judge, right? So this is the energy where, you know, you go to someone for resolution, right? Just go, you go to someone for resolution, someone to be a mediator. You know, maybe this is the universe, right? Trying to temper the connection. But there's this energy where she's like, I don't need this. I don't need the closure anymore. I have my closure. I'm ready to head towards my future. I'm in my logic. I'm in my wisdom. And I will succeed there. I will succeed over this stalemate, this mental conflict around our movement forward. We're not moving forward. And I can't stay stuck. And so therefore, I'm not going to be the one to further resolve this. I'm just going to move on with my life. I'm going to move on with my life. Okay? Okay. That's why bottom of the deck, she's changing her focus. She's changing her focus towards a new beginning. She's changing her focus to succeed. She's working on her own foundation and she's working on releasing mental conflict. Okay. And this overly, um, you know, dreamy energy or sensitive energy that she had, she it's, she's releasing it with the past so that she can move forward on her own journey. And any messages, she's not waiting around for it. She has her own closure. She realizes that she doesn't need anything outside of herself. She has her own green light and she's ready to experience the present and not think about the past and not be concerned about the future. Okay. What about divine masculine? What is his most significant change today on his journey? You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Look at this. This energy. This card, you see the woman sitting there. 
She's waiting for something. She's waiting for a message. She might be waiting for a call. Maybe he's waiting for a message. Maybe he's waiting for a call. And she's like, yeah, goodbye, right? Not in a bad way, not in an ego way. She's just like, I am only responsible for my own healing. I am only responsible for my own uh, movement forward. So there's this energy where what's changing for him is that he is no longer waiting for an anxiety, an anxiety. He's not waiting in fear. He's not hoping for news. He's not waiting for bad news. He knows that time is passing, that time is passing on his journey. Okay. He, he can't not wait for another wake up call. He cannot wait for another, you know, news or nudge from the universe. He's, that's what he, I feel like masculine has been doing. So what's changing with him is him just sitting there no, with no action towards his journey. Well, guess what? Ace of Pentacles. What's changing is he's ready for a new beginning. He's ready for a new beginning. He's ready to tar start taking small steps towards that new, new beginning. He's been hiding. He's been hiding from this new beginning. So what is changing for him is that while he has been very, very inactive towards this journey, now he's got some motivation to move forward from hiding towards a new beginning, towards steps forward. So masculine has been hiding. He has not been actively participating in the 3D on this journey, on his own journey, right? He may have been doing his healing, making small steps, but I do feel like, you know, there, there, it was mostly hiding. He was mostly in this energy of avoiding his deception, avoiding destiny, avoiding fate, right? So now with this energy where he's feeling lost, he's feeling loss of this new beginning. So now he's really thinking about what he needs to do and how he has stood alone and worn a mask like everything is okay. And now there's this energy of like, I, I have to get moving on the journey too. But guess why that happens? Because Divine Feminine's like, I got to keep it moving. I have to keep it moving. I'm not waiting for a letter. I'm not waiting for a message. I'm not, I've got my own closure. I'm not waiting for this. So then now the clock is ticking for Masculine on this journey. And now he's like, I need to get moving. I need to start thinking. I need to stop hiding from my journey. So now what about divine masculine's energy as related to feminine? What is the most significant change? Now he's got all these ideas. There's all this percolating happening, right? There's this, you know, paintbrush. There's this paint palette. There is this uh, musical instrument. There's this journal. There's writing. There's musical notes. He's like thinking of all of these things that he wants to expand in his connection with his feminine ace of cups he wants to, he has two aces we have three aces on the table ace of cups ace of pentacles ace of wands what are we missing ace of swords that breakthrough right so i feel like the breakthrough is going to happen after these are the changes right so he's in this energy of i'm feeling very inspired now i'm feeling very inspired to create to create some sort of harmony to create some sort of of action there is this energy of imagination and that's because he's tapping into his soul when he taps into his soul he comes into this energy of harmony and creation and and just inspiration that he wants to get onto this journey and start love begin love okay because this love has been lost five of cups but this love that he's lost He's lifting out of negativity to come back into this great fortune. You cannot make this up. You can't make this up. So I, I feel like this is the dance, right, guys? This is the dance that happens. Divine Feminine is the energetic leader. She's like, I'm not focusing on the past. I'm not focusing on the future. I'm focusing on me here and now. I don't need closure. I don't need a message from masculine. I am going to have victory over this stalemate. And I'm just moving forward. And what does that do for masculine? He's like, oh, well, she's not calling. She's not texting. 
She's not doing anything. She's not waiting for me. So now I got to start thinking that I need to stop hiding from this new beginning. And when I stop hiding from my own journey, I am inspired to expand this love that I lost and lift out of negativity and get my fortune again. You know, I love it. I love it. I just feel like there's this energy of empowerment. I feel so much power in this reading from feminine and from, ma from masculine. Masculine is inspired by divine feminine, whether he knows it or not. Okay, so now let's look at what is the most significant change in the connection. So what is the most significant change in the connection? I always forget what this card is called. Uh, this card is called, oh, goals. There's goals. What is the most significant change in the connection? The goal. The goal is the change. Okay, there's, there's like many ways to get to the goal. There's many, many ways to get to the goal. But the goal has changed. And now there's a little bit of indecision around the goal. And who's undecided? The Empress. Why? Because she's changed her goal to herself. She's changed her goal to herself. And look at now we have the King of Swords, which is the match of the Queen of Swords which is right here. So this change in the connection is the goal. We're undecided. We're undecided because the feminine has taken her energy and has started to move forward. And now this leads to masculine being in this energy of, I got to think about what I want to do. I need to apply healthy boundaries. I need to be in my honesty. I need to be in my integrity. This is about both of them understanding this deep commitment, but feminine saying, yeah, I'm, I'm no longer going to chase this as a goal. And guess what that does? Change. It creates so much change in the connection, which as you can already see, major, major change is coming in this connection because divine feminine is saying, yeah, you know what? You're no longer my goal, masculine. My goal is my peace of mind. My goal is my success. My goal is my own union. My goal is my healing. My goal is my intuition. I don't need anything from you. I don't need anything from you. And that creates change. Now, where is this connection potentially headed? Well, look at this. This is the energy of illusion. This is the energy of confusion. So guess what happens? We're healing our confusion. Archangel Raphael is coming in to heal our confusion. Heal the deception that has created confusion. Heal the deception that has created confusion for divine feminine. Right? Heal the deception that has affected divine feminine and her soul spark because of third party situations. There's so much healing to come. Why? Because that's what she's focused on. And Archangel Raphael is here to say, divine feminine, any misleading illusion, any confusion that you had about this connection, I am healing this, decept this, this deceit that you experienced as part of your twin flame connection due to third parties. Healing, major healing coming. So let me know if this resonated. And if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.